Hi friends, Right Careers welcomes you to another brand new video. This is Yes Sudarshan, your career coach. This week we are going to see a topic that lingers most among the minds of all the biology group students, especially students who are planning or aspiring to study medical. Now as and when I speak today, there is no real news of when the need is going to happen. We all know that need is going to happen, but when we don't know. This is as of today, but as and when this video gets published, that is on 19th of July, you never know what is going to happen. There might be some development that we all hope that on the date of the need. Right? In all probability, if need is going to happen in the month of August or September, the counseling is going to get delayed or prolonged and therefore the medical admissions will come to us fulfill fulfillment only in the month of October. That's what we all expect. So till that time, till October as a student or as a parent as well, you might not know whether to wait for medical admissions, whether to you know join in some other course and then look for medical admission. So these are some of the common doubts that, that you might experience. The more the need uh, counseling or the need exam or the result and then the counseling dates delay, the more desperation and the more anxiousness that every parent and a student will definitely experience. Also, the level of competition and need has drastically increased over the last few years. If you look at last year's numbers, 13.66 uh, lakh students appeared for need. 13 and a half, close over 13 and a half lakh students appeared for need, and out of which only 7.7 .7 lakh students qualified. I mean, they, they just qualified. Whether they got into medical, we don't know. But the the ratio, 7.71 .7 lakhs only got students only got qualified out of 13.67 lakh students for how many seats for 80,000 seats in the country. So which means there will be a lot of students who will take need who might not clear. There will be students who will still clear need but not get into medical college. Uh, you know people often think that MBBS and BDS are the only career options that exist in medical space which is, which is very very wrong. There are many medical and paramedical courses where you can make a career in medicine or medical line as, a, as an industry and then do very well in your careers. Now that's exactly the topic for this week. I'm going to talk about five careers that, that will definitely be related to medical and you still need not take NEET. So five medical careers without taking NEET is the topic for this week. So what are those careers? The first career that I can definitely think of is in the form of BNYS we call, which is bachelor's in uh, naturopathy and yoga sciences. The best part about this course is you can still prefix doctor in your name. You can, if you study this course, uh, naturopathy and yoga is not only offered in India these days, it's offered in many foreign countries. That speaks volumes about how yoga and naturopathy has, uh, you know, gone to places. It's definitely an alternate medicine, uh, naturopathy and yoga sciences. It's an alternate medicine that focuses on self-healing practices for any ailments or diseases. For example, uh, acupuncture is one, it's a self-failing uh, you know, mechanism. Yoga, through uh, all the treatment through yoga is definitely you know what will be taught here. It's a four and a half years course with one year of apprenticeship, which is, uh, uh, the, that's the course structure. Uh, job profiles like naturopathic physician, yoga practitioner, yoga therapist, massage therapist, etc. can definitely uh, uh, you know come once you've studied this program. Uh, as I told you, you can prefix doctor, you know, this doesn't require a need and there are good government colleges and private colleges across the country that offers this program, which is BNYS, Bachelor's in Naturopathy and Yogic Sciences. The second course without need for biology students that we can think of is definitely in the form of physiotherapy. Now, we all know, you know, by now we know what physiotherapy is. It's another most sought after program, you know, in the paramedical space, especially after medicine. The usually physiotherapists work with patients to restore the mobility uh, or, or functionality once they are, once they meet with any accident related ailments or, or fracture related ailments, whatever it is. Uh, it is now a definitely now a integral part of the core medical co or rather core medicine, I should say. Uh, the course that you can pursue perhaps is BPT, Bachelor's in Physiotherapy. It is a four-year program, four-year undergraduate program. You can work with doctors, you can align with hospitals and then work, you know, and make an independent career or you can work for hospitals as well. The only criteria that you got to uh, have once you finish your uh, 12 standard is you have to take physics, chemistry, biology group with 50% uh, marks and you don't need to 
टेक नीड टू परस्यू फिजियोथेरापी अपॉन कंप्लीशन ऑफ बैचलर्स यू कैन डेफिनेटली डू मास्टर्स इन फिजियोथेरापी सो दट्स द सेकेंड प्रोग्राम एज फार एज मेडिकल प्रोग्राम एज फार एज टेकिंग विदउट नीड द थर्ड कोर्स दट आई कैन थिंक ऑफ इन मेडिक इन मेडिसन लाइन और रदर इन बायोलॉजी ग्रुप विदउट नीड इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ फार्मासिस्ट now we all know what pharmacist is pharmacist is usually called as chemists or druggists now we would have come across pharmacists all across the country now, they are definitely health professionals who dispense the medicines who advise patients on the prescriptions the doctor provide prescriptions it's the it's the pharmacist who advise on how to consume or how to use etc etc uh, b pharm is the classic course it's an age old course it's been there for a long long time uh, it's a 3 year program and then you can definitely pursue masters m pharm it's a 2 year program or some universities and colleges do offer d pharm directly after your 12th which means in 6 years time you can become doctorate in pharmacy definitely great career opportunity you can work for healthcare companies hospitals you can be on your own setting up of pharmacies etc so that's definitely a good trend even you can take franchises these days with the advent of large chain of pharmacy like apollo pharmacies or or med plus etc you can take franchise in your respective locality and then become an entrepreneur so that's the third career option in medicine without having to take neat the fourth career option uh, definitely without taking neat is in the form of a nurse nursing we call so it's a four year program usually bsc uh, in nursing so i mean there is a misconception that uh, nursing is usually studied by women no uh, on the contrary both men and women can pursue nursing uh, they are actually second to doctors in any hospitals we all know the importance of nursing uh, these not only these days since time immemorial uh, if not more respect uh, the, the, you know they definitely get the same respect as doctors uh, after nursing you can become a, a staff nurse or registered nurse or even medical coding or even an educator so these are some of the career options that exist for you once you pursue nursing uh, you can definitely uh, nursing is offered across all major medical colleges in the country like aims or jipmer and then independent deemed universities private universities and also some private colleges so you can choose the college or university that's near you and then pursue nursing that's the fourth career option the fifth career option without uh, take uh, you got to take need definitely is quite vast in nature it's called paramedical programs there are numerous paramedical programs that i can list out where it doesn't require any kind of any form of entrance examination or need this is offered not only in professional colleges but also in arts and science colleges in your city courses like microbiology biochemistry bioinformatics or uh, nutrition and dietitian physiology psychology clinical research bsc in genetics all these are bsc programs where you can take and still align yourself uh, in medical industry or healthcare industry and then work there is also programs like forensic sciences occupational therapy these are some top courses where you can still align yourself with medical industry and then function so these are some of the courses now let me before we conclude i would like to tell you that mbbs or bds is definitely not the beginning of the world or end of the world for anybody right so explore these options in case you don't get into medical core medicine that is mbbs or bds these are some of the options where you can definitely pursue and then make a great career in case you want to know more about any of these careers in detail do ping us Uh, all the details are mentioned beneath this video do subscribe to my youtube channel which is www.youtube.com/writecareers until next monday with a brand new video see you all take care have a safe week thank you